crying out loud, man, not another sunny day poem. Oh, one where the writer looks ever so longingly out his window and wishes his injury wouldn't make him a stick in the mud. Oh, please make it stop already. Not another woe is me inside with plenty of food and spirits, but I'd rather be outside sweating and complaining about the smog and how evil Los Angeles is, poem. Oh, just give it a rest, will ya? Not another sunny day poem. One where the writer tries to be witty by deflecting attention from expressing honest emotions and hiding behind a veiled rant? I can't stand those so-called poems. <laughs> This is a timely one. This is called Egypt is Ready. No one man can ever truly rule a people. One can govern with the support of the general populace by upholding its laws. All else is immaterial to national survival. Freedom for Egyptians is coming. It will take some time, but the people are ready. Ready to take charge of themselves, ready to reclaim former glory, ready to join the new age, ready to reimagine, ready to get out from under all that once held the country back. They will not be swept aside by the sands of history or denied providence. Even as you read these simple words, in the area that once held the great library of ancient Alexandria, someone is voraciously writing of these momental events with reverie, pride, next one on and off for about eight or nine months and um, I just love the title and poems come along. <laughs> All right. This is called Love is Like a Tweaking Ferret with Tourette's. <laughs> Modern love is unpredictable at best, usually experienced spontaneously. Love fit into a schedule isn't really love. If you can't consistently be who you truly are with someone at all times, you are only fooling yourself. It doesn't matter where you meet. At a fairground, arts and uh, crafts tent, your cousin's anime film night, some dimly lit basement dive bar, cautiously browsing facefuck.com. It just happens unexpectedly. It's chemical and instantaneous. You can't put your finger on it. If you try, it will only slip away. Love is an excuse for pretty words. These words were only developed because callous caveman chic went out of style A-S-A-F-P-B-C. When it comes to love, I say be selfish. I want a burning love without ending, though I know sleep will best me. I want a love without a safety net, though I know I will keep falling. Most of all, I want love in return. Not because I feel entitled or I think that anyone owes me anything, but because life's postage rate keeps skyrocketing without foreseeable limit, and I've been mailing out good vibes for years on this slowly spinning orb. In my mind, love between two people is like a tweaking ferret with Tourette's. It's too slippery and wily to be caged. We don't even know why we need it. We just do. <coughs> This next one is my attempt to write a tongue twister, and then when I read it out loud the other day, I realized it was impossible to read. So I had to simplify it, so I could actually read it out loud. This is called, uh, While the Weather Withers, I Won't. While the winter winds howl outside my window, I won't be remiss for a Saturday slide ride somewhere. While the wanderer skips on the old stereo, I won't be pining for more modern music mayhem. While wanton wails of neighbors' lovemaking lingers, I won't be thinking of Quara and all her quaking. While the wood crackles and flares in the fireplace, I won't be despondent for dreams of Delhi streams. While the weather fences me from fun festivities, I won't be likely to wither or slouch on the sofa. For in my mind, I see the folly of frustrated fits, and answers elude an irked mind almost always. I don't know if anybody remembers, but 20 years ago, roughly, uh, Nirvana put out Nevermind, and that uh, kid that was the baby on the front of the album is now in college. So this is my imagining. This is called Nevermind Turns 20. Okay, I admit it, that was me. I was the baby on the cover of Nevermind by Nirvana back in 91. 
No, I don't remember anything. No, I'm not in contact with surviving band members at all. I don't get any royalties. I don't get any fan mail. It was my 15 minutes. It has helped me get laid. Sometimes the girls laugh at me. I mean, they've seen me naked. In their minds, I'm still a baby. Well, let me put you at ease. I'm all grown up now, ladies. My penis was tiny then, not now. I was a baby! I was in a pool! There was shrinkage! I should stop getting wasted and bragging about it at parties. People always seem to find out. I'm just a guy. I have feelings. I'm not a rock star. One question will always haunt me. Hey man, did you ever catch that dollar bill? No, I didn't. I didn't even catch a wave, man. My infancy is now a trivia novelty. <clears throat> no matter what I accomplish in life, my epitaph will be sung as written. Oh well, whatever.